I'll take this food. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Um, I have the crackers and shit. Oh, I gave you the drink. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? Oh, don't you. I'm gonna give you some. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Back to. I'm sorry. Ah. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Duck. Get hey, two. Duck. How about a little food? I just keep on rolling them. Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? Yeah. What are you Pull out of my ass. No, probably not. Um. I'm going Want to something you to eat? Here. You, my Me? girl. How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. Good. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Take the goddamn food. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Back in a bit. And she won't take my fucking food. You don't get. Honey, you get some food. I got shit. And another. Want item. something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, yeah. I gave him something. Sure. Then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Welcome. Glad you found it. In the food. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Let's stop. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't ah, forget that. Almost knocked my you microphone over. You welcome to come with us. Thank you. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Right talk. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend, but it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. You'll be okay over here? Uh-huh, I'll be okay. Go feed the one. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Nope. Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? 
Yeah. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work! Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're yeah. out! What happened to my food? You don't get fucking. There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kids? Oh, fuck. 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 Good job. Oh, kick him, kick him, kick him. Kick him. Thank you, whoever is watching, Lexi. Um, thank you for you watching okay? and checking out my stream. Thanks. Chat, if Why'd you, uh, you bring him here in the first have place, any, asshole? Uh, recommendations or anything. You're gonna get us all and if killed. you like what I'm doing, make sure you click that follow button so you can stay up to date with what I'm doing. What? I stream every day, mostly Minecraft, but I do have a bunch of other games bitten, that I can I play. Well, you're not bitten friend here. Came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Fuck. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, F for protection. The dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If Y'all be willing to lower your guns. We we can talk about some kind of trade. 
How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. That sounds amazing. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Yes, please. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Yeah. You got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. A couple gallons? Shit. Shit. This dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God. Hold on. God, Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? There you go. Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Um, Kenny's the guy who really keeps a group together. <laughs> Don't let Lily hear you say that. How many people you got over there anyway? Um, enough okay. to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well. You guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help Butters. out on the goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it there's up only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, a lot you know what? more We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh. Jesus! Asshole! The world out here is going to shit. Well, oh, he just fucked him up. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. <laughs> the brother calling me. Don't... Hold on. Plus he's Here watching. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. 
It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. <laughs>